Hey, Hawthorne Bears. It's time for another round of splat. This one is going to be set 3.1. Uh, before we get started, again, I want to thank Steve Whiteborny for creating the game splat. You can find more of his uh, presentations at www.stevewhiteborny.com. So today's splat, this is probably geared for third grade and up, but uh, other grades will, may enjoy it as well. Let's start out with just how many dots do you see there? Go ahead, take a second, count them up, and uh, let somebody in your room know how many dots you see. Do you have it? Let's see, did you come up with 14? Excellent, how did you count them up? Did you go one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on? You could count by threes. There's three, six, nine, 12, and two more are 14. Now, usually this is about the time we do a splat. Now there's two splats. Here's the key. These splats each have the same amount of dots underneath them. And so when you see two splats the same color, it means that this splat has the same amount of dots as this splat. So instead of asking how many total dots are under the splats, what I'd like to know is how many dots are under just one splat? And I want you to think, how do you know that? And is there another way? So before we would say, okay, well there's 14 dots total, there's eight dots left, so 14 minus eight is six. Now I have to do these six dots equally between these two splats. So how many dots would be under each splat? Let's take a look and see. Did you come up with three? Good job. Yeah, because three times two is six, plus eight is 14. So now let's let's take a look at one. How many dots do you see? Go ahead and take a minute and count. When you've got a total, go ahead and tell somebody in the room how many you came up with. Are you re are you ready? Did you see 19? Great. How did you count them? Did you group them or did you count by ones? How did you count them? I'll tell you what, it's time to splat. Now we have three splats. Again, the same number of dots are under each of these splats. So think for a minute, how can you figure out how many are under just this one splat? Think about what you know and what you learned from the last slide. You think you know it? So we have 19 dots total. We still have four that are showing. So that means how many are under the, the splats? Well, 19 minus four is 15. Now we have three splats. So what times three equals 15? Or 15 divided by three is what? You think you know? Let's take a look. Did you come up with five dots? Very good. So we've got five, 10, 15, plus 16, 17, 18, 19. So what did you learn from that one? Let's see if you can apply it to this next puzzle. Here we go. How many dots do you see? Okay, did you come up with a number? Go ahead, let somebody know. I'm also interested in how you counted it. Did you come up with 14? Great. I'll show you how I counted them. I looked at, I counted by fours. So I went four, eight, 
12, and two more is 14. Splat. Three splats that time. How many dots are showing? That's right, there's two, two showing. So how many dots are left and how many would be under each of these three shapes? Go ahead, think about what we did last time and see if you can figure out how many are under each splat. You think you have it? So I know um, when we've played this before, sometimes people will say, well, there's 12 dots. And technically there is, because it's 14 minus two is 12. But there's two steps you have to do. You get the 12 dots left, and you have to figure out how many are under each of these. So you would do 12 divided by three, or what times three is 12? Are you ready to see the answer? Did you get four? Excellent. So if we count these up, it'd be four, eight, 12, 13, 14, because three times four is 12, plus two more is 14, or 12 divided, or well, I guess you can say 14 minus two is 12, divided by three splats equals four dots. Let's do one more here, are you ready? How many dots do you see now? A few more than last time, isn't there? You think you got it? I'd really love to know how you guys are counting this one. Let's take a look. Did you come up with 24? Very good. How did you count those that time? Did you do it by ones or did you do it by grouping? Could you have gone maybe four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and 24? So basically counting by fours. Now before we splat, I do wanna show you down here at the bottom of the video, we have the website www.stevewhiteborny.com. That's where you can go to get more splat resources or some other fun activities that we've posted videos on like Esta Mysteries. All right, so we have 24 dots, bam, splat, five this time. Five splats, how many of dots are under each splat? Remember the same amount of dots have to be under each splat. Go ahead and take a minute and see if you can figure that out. Do you think you have it? What approach did you take? Well, we can do the first part of the problem together. How many dots do we have left? Well, I can see here we have two, five, eight, nine. So there's nine dots still left, and 24 minus nine is 15. So we have to take those 15 dots and share them equally between five splats. So what would 15 divided by five be? Did you come up with three? Good job, because you're right, 24 minus nine is 15 divided by five is three, or five times three is 15 plus nine is 24. I think we have time to do one more. How many shapes do you see this time? Go ahead, take a minute, count it up. You think you have it? Let's see if you're right. Did you come up with 22? Excellent, how did you guys count at that time? You, you could count by twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. You could count by fives, like here's a group of five, 10, 15, and then maybe like 20, and leaving 22. All right, splat. 
This time there's three, three splats. Remember the same amount of dots have to be under each splat. So how many dots do you think are under this first splat? Go ahead, take a minute, think about the problem, think about all the steps you've done and figure out how many splats are there. You think you got the right answer? How did you solve it? Go ahead and tell somebody in the room the, the process you used to figure it out. Okay. So I looked at it and said, okay, well, I know there's seven dots here. 22 minus seven, I can count back if I need to, is 15. I've got three splats, so what's 15 divided by three? That's right, it's five. So we have five, 10, 15, plus the seven is 22. Great job today, guys. Um, we'll be posting some more of these later on this week. Um, we'll, we're also doing some with addition and subtraction. We're also gonna be posting some fraction ones. So stay tuned to that. And uh, take care, Hawthorne Bears. I sure miss you.